In this video, I am going to share with you the holy grail for me of business, of approaching marketing, of growing your business and making more sales, more customers, more easily and multiplying your success rather than just slowly adding it. This video will teach you the absolute best way to look at a business and to identify how to multiply its income. And we're going to call this the three business multipliers. So you have a triangle, you have the three multipliers. The three multipliers are average income per client. You have opportunities and you have closing rate or effectiveness. What do these mean? Your average income per client means how much do you stand to make when you make a sale on average? How much is a sale worth to you in your business? The more a sale is worth to you, the more in the, you're higher up in the multiplication because let's say that you're selling a $500 product and your competition is selling a $5,000 product. Now you may think, whoa, I'm cheaper, so it's gonna be much easier for me, and that might be the case, but what's more likely is that if, you're, if your competition is successfully selling a $5,000 product, it means that they can basically outspend you 10 times to get to the same client. They can spend 10 times more on marketing to get to the same client. And it's also a multiplier. What does a multiplier mean? It means that if I take the average income I make per client, which is, let's say, $500 a month, and I double it to $1,000 a month, I basically double the whole equation. And this equation will give me my actual income at the end of the month. So what is a closing rate? Closing rate means how effective is your sales process? How many people do you need to contact to reach your sale? The higher the closing rate, the better the effectiveness, the easier it is for you to make a sale. And finally, we have opportunities, which means how many times does this equation run? Because if I have a 10% closing rate, and I have a $1,000 product, and I talk to 100 people, that means I'm going to get 10 sales of $1,000, which is $10,000. But what if my closing rate was not 10%, what if it was 1%? That means that for every 100 opportunities that I talk, people that I contact, I only get one sale of $1,000. Or let's say my, my closing rate is 20%. Well, in this case, I need to contact only 20 people to get four sales of $1,000. So you see these are multipliers and you always wanna approach them in this order. You wanna always start with income. How can I increase the amount of money that I'm getting? And you can do this by adding packages, for example. So let's say that you're a coach and you sell hourly rates. If you start selling packages, you basically increase, vastly increase, the amount of money you get on average per client because you commit people to a process and you can actually charge more when you package it because a package itself has value versus an hour. An hour of your time doesn't wor isn't worth anything, but a package could actually lead to a result and results are worth a lot more value. Now, the second thing you wanna focus on is your closing rate. The reason for that, the reason you need to close, th to do these two first, is because what's the point of focusing hard on marketing, to, on promoting, on getting as many people to hear about an offer if that offer doesn't convert, if it doesn't get sales, or if the sales are so small and teensy that they don't actually make a difference. There's no meat. You can't actually give out percentages. You can't give out commissions. You can't afford, afford to advertise. So you're looking to get the highest income for your sales and also the highest closing rate. Now, once you have those two, now you're in big boy problems. And now your last step of this triangle is how do I get as many opportunities as possible? Imagine if you had a system so strong 
that every 100 people you talk to are worth $10,000 for you? How many people would you try to talk to? How many people would you hire to talk for people, to people for you? How much money will you spend on advertising knowing that you're going you're gonna to make your money five or ten times back? So this is the reason we approach it from this angle, from first of all, increasing income, increasing closing rate, and finally, focus on the opportunities once you have a hot product. Anytime you're having a marketing challenge, anytime it's hard for you to market, you have to exert a lot of effort to get your message out, it means there's a problem in one of these two. Either the price is not good enough. Again, imagine real estate where you have low closing rates, but you get a big, big commission, so you can actually afford to spend a lot more. Or imagine having a super high closing rate, a really great offer that's really cheap, but it sells really well. Something like Ty Lopez's uh, the 67 Steps program, which he sold at the time, which was just $67 and sold like cookies. I mean, the guy reached like 70,000 clients within a few years. So you can either, either have a high closing rate or a high average income. If you don't have any of them, your business is crap and there's no opportunity to exert effort on marketing because you basically have leverage against you. It's actually harder because you don't have any of them. Once you have one of them, it still doesn't make sense to do a lot of effort because let's say you do a lot of effort, you have a high closing rate, but the price is very low. You're gonna make a lot of sales, but they're gonna be small sales. Or let's say that the price is very high, but the, income, the closing rate sucks. You're gonna to have to talk to so many people to get that result, it's not gonna be worth it for sure. But if you can get both of those really high, really good, you can get a really high closing rate and a really high price, then you're on fire. Now you can actually start to advertise like a maniac. You can grow in multipliers on multipliers on multipliers. And also, one last point, your income, the average price you can ask for a product is sort of finite. It's not exactly, but it sort of is. Because let's say that you're selling a $500 coaching product. How much higher can you get it? Can you get it to 1,000? Sure. 2,000? Sure. 4,000? Sure. 8,000? Maybe 16,000, problematic. 32,000, very problematic. And more and, and higher and higher uh, gets you more problems because people just literally can't afford it. So you're capped to multiply your prices only by a certain amount before you reach uh, a certain ceiling. The, uh, again, you can always sell even for a million dollars, but there's just not as much of a market for it. Now you also have the closing rate. How much can you improve your closing rate? The answer is to 100%. Now let's say you have a 20% closing rate. You can kill yourself and do anything it takes to get it from 20% to 40%, which might be worth it, but that's only two times. So if you get, get it from 20% to 40%, what that means is you doubled the result you got, because if this is doubled, then that means that the whole equation, the result is doubled. But again, you can only double it. But this amount of opportunities, amount of people that see you, that think about you, they get your email, they get a call from you, they get to see, you see that your Facebook ad, that see your YouTube ad, they get a WhatsApp from you. All of these people, you can multiply it up to seven billion people. You can multiply it indefinitely. So this can only multiply a couple of times. This can only multiply a couple of times. This can multiply indefinitely, which means that you need to get these figured out. Figure out how to increase your product price. Figure out how to increase your closing rate. Whichever one is weak for you. And everyone has a weak side. Everyone has a weak side. And the thing is that most people have one thing that's working for them. So imagine somebody who's a really high closer. He can really go for high prices, but his closing rate sucks and he doesn't take enough action to get enough opportunities. Or imagine somebody like, uh, like a party guy who knows everybody and he's in contact with thousands of people every day and he doesn't know how to sell and he doesn't know how to close people, so he's not getting any money. Or imagine somebody who has a really, really high closing rate, but his prices are so low, he's not actually moving forward, he's not actually making money from his sales, and so he's not going for many opportunities. Each of these people, each of these cases, if you teach them just one more leg of this three multipliers, just one more thing, if you teach the guy who uh, knows a lot of people only how to close a certain percentage of the people he meets, then he's gonna start making quite a bit of money. And if he can learn how to sell for high prices, he can multiply that again. 
The same with the person who can sell very high prices but has a shit closing rate. If you can get that person to a high closing rate, then he'll want to be in front of as many people as possible. So remember, it's all about the leverage. If your deal sucks, that's why it's very hard for you to market it. If your system sucks, if it doesn't have a high closing rate or a high income or an extremely high amount of opportunities, then why would it be a good deal? You want to get to a situation where you got two of these figured out preferably these two because this one follows naturally after again imagine you have a deal you pay me a thousand dollars i give you a million dollars how many people would say yes quite a bit of people how much money is it a ton of money so are you going to be excited yes are you going to talk to a lot of people yes anytime you have an opportunity that has a high closing rate and a high price Everybody wants in on it. Everybody wants percentage of the profits. It's hot. You just, you can't find enough money to spend on it. So this is the holy grail of looking at every business, including your own business. Ask yourself, where is my weakness right now? And it changes once you solve it. Am I not making enough money per client? Is my closing rate shit? Or am I not seeing enough people? And there's always one thing that needs improvement. And if you just solve that one thing, everything is going to be easier. That's how you leverage and that's how you multiply. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.